Hi, welcome to the ninth episode of Learning Basics of Krita as a Digital Painting and Illustration Application. In the last video, we covered many layer based blending mode, but without applying it on real paintings, it was more of a technical mumbo jumbo. So, in this video, we will use some of the blending mode in real life paintings. Krita has tons of blending mode which can be accessed through layers, out of which we have covered few of them in our last video and from these we will use select few practically. This way not only we will practice it but we will also remember it. Let's dig in. Obviously our first order is to know how to use it. In simple scenarios all we have to do is add a layer on top of the pouring base layer on which we want some effect. From the drop down menu we have to select the blending mode and then simply painting would work. But why stop here when we have already covered grouping of layers and alpha inheritance. So let's create a group by selecting the two layers using shift key and press ctrl g. Let's restrict this using alpha inheritance. Perfect. You can add a layer below it and the blending mode will work on all. Okay, let's move on. First, let's try Luminosity. We will open our donor tutorial file. If you have not watched it, I totally recommend you to watch it first. Let's remove our extra layer from glaze and base donut and delete the painting. We are going to use Luminosity to paint both shadows and highlights. Convert the layer to Luminosity and with a darkish value, let's paint. For highlights, let's choose a lighter value and paint. We can also blend this using our blending brush. Same with base. Isn't this neat? No fiddling with colors and this is a non-destructive as our previous method. Just erase the painting. Next, let's try color mode. I'm going to use this on my pepper and carrot fan art. In this scene, you notice it is a nighttime, but pepper is super bright. Let's fix this with color blend mode. Add a layer on top. We want this to affect every layer. Add a dark color and drag and drop. Convert the layer to color mode. Now this is better, but the effect is just too much. Turn down the opacity slightly to reduce the effect. We can do this to all blending layers. Great, but some areas need to be more bright. Simply erase those areas. Let's take another example. Here is Kiryu's iconic kick from Yakuza 0. And we can choose color to make him more colorful. So that he can happily sing Baka Mitai. Baka Mitai. How about a blue coat AK Phoenix, right? Objection! There you go. Okay, this is great. Let's try something else. Multiply creates darker values. So let's try this on with game fan art. And I want shadows to fall on the middle guy. No problem. Add a layer, set it to multiply and boom. Overlay is an excellent tool to add bright effects. So I want this wand to be bright. Add layer on top, choose a color and paint. Remember the effects can be super bright, so paint cautiously. Some brightness on the wand and maybe on the grass. What happens if we change this to divide and we have this funky color? Okay, so we have seen few of the blend modes in action and certainly adds a lot to the layer management and effects which can be achieved. All this can be done without using layers or blending mode, but using these can make it non-destructive easy to change if suppose you change your mind and blending mode can be thought more of a post process effect thus relieving you from any pre planning headache at the time of painting since you know you can achieve so many effects afterwards okay guys this is it you should now go and practice all the blending mode which we have covered in the last video and it is not necessary to use the blending mode the way i have presented sky is the limit and with your endless creativity i can't wait to see what you guys come up with blending mode Till we meet again, bye bye.